My name is John Martini, and uh, a lot of people know me from jokermartini.com. I'm a CG artist. I do anything from lighting to compositing to modeling. I write a lot of tools in my free time, um, a lot of tutorials as well. Some people know me from Animator's Toolkit. I also write tools like Labyrinth, which is another plugin for 3ds Max. So I started writing Animator's Toolkit uh, back in 2008, and my friend Andrew Phoenix jumped on board, who is a motion graphics artist. And we went back and forth, both uh, collaboratively, letting the, pro or the tool grow over time. He would put in a new feature, it would make me think of a new feature, and I would put that in. And over time, studios started writing to us asking for features, and we kept adding more and more to it. And now it's become over 100,000 lines of code that started out as just 100 lines. <laughs> Google happened to do a commercial making the Chrome logo out of Legos and they used Animator's Toolkit for it to make Legos build the Chrome logo and that just blew my mind to see somebody use it in that you know, type of workflow that I would have never expected or thought of when I made the tool myself. I think it's very important for artists to learn scripting. It's just as important as knowing how to model, knowing how to light or rig because at the end of the day we all want to make something as fast as we can and look as good as we possibly can make it or low, co low cost, and I can achieve bigger projects with less people because I can write those tools that automate things that maybe would take two or three people to do. For me, I use 3ds Max for all my projects because it's very user-friendly, it's very procedural in the way it works with the modifier stack. It allows me to take chances and make a modification on an object that I might not like, um, and then some programs, you know, that's always destructive, whereas Max is a little more procedural in that sense where it's not always destructive. You can turn it on and off and take chances. And I think in the end of the day, that's very helpful. I hear a lot of people say Max is only for games and not visual effects. More and more, I find people doing those visual effects in Max because you can do all the visual effects you need to in 3ds Max very fast and effectively and usually pump it out quicker than any other program. People should be really excited about the future of Max. There's a lot of things coming to it that uh, will change the way people view Max. I look forward to using open subdivs to make characters and add, you know, creases or edges along the lips of a character or even like a mechanical character, like a Gears of War type of character who has a lot of armor and not have to do a bunch of extra edges and edge loops. Uh, the things that you see coming to Max right now with the service packs and things like that are just a foreshadow of what's to come down the road and it's really going to make everybody very pleased with the versions of Max that come in the future.